This video is going to be another edition of a play series I put together each week called One Play Wednesday. We're going to focus on Dak Prescott's game-winning touchdown to Jalen Tol Tolbert in their 20-17 win over the Steelers in Week 5. Dallas had the ball. They had taken a 13-10 lead and had the ball with about 12 or 13 minutes left in the fourth quarter, and Dak had thrown an interception. Steelers are able to go down and grab a 17-13 lead on a, on a night when I think the Cowboys had generally outplayed them for the most part. Dak and company finally get the ball back with about five minutes left, and I want to go over a couple of the seminal plays on this drive that get them down inside the red zone, and then the third and fourth down passes to Tolbert, one of which is incomplete, and one of which wins the game for the Cowboys and pushes them to three and two. So this is a third and nine. We're inside of two minutes. Think about 125, 130 left, the time the ball is snapped. It's a third and nine completion to Jake Ferguson, the tight end. Lined up down here in the bunch. So Dallas's three best receiving threats, Tolbert, Ferguson, CeeDee Lamb, all there. And you can see Dak, quick recognition. The vertical release by Lamb kind of held this defender just long enough such that Dak is able to get an open window here. I think on this third and nine, he's just trying to get the ball here and get seven, eight yards, maybe nine. But in this case, Ferguson spins out of it because I think Dak throws it on that leverage side. I think he throws it on that side such that Ferguson is able to catch it and turn and go. I'm not sure that he necessarily was trying to throw it that far over, but perfectly placed. Ferguson able to get the catch. Minka Fitzpatrick, fortunately for the Steelers, in position to make the tackle. 10-yard gain gets him a new set of downs. Beautiful play call on the next play. Hunter Lepke, Lemke, I, I'm probably mispronouncing his name, the tight end fullback slash halfback that plays for the Cowboys back there. I think he's pretty underrated. He had two big catches against my Ravens when the Ravens went down to Dallas and were fortunate enough to get a win. This is an 18-yard screenplay. So Lepke is lined up as the running back away from the bunch. And you can see he makes it look like he's going to chip the edge defender and then just peels out. The tackle is involved in the pass pro, basically letting the edge defender win. Two interior linemen release up on the screen into the boundary, kind of typical. Why? Because you have the nickel defender to the field, two safeties uh, in a kind of rotated alignment, rotated towards the bunch. So the only guy that's in position at all to do anything about this is, I think, rookie inside linebacker Peyton Wilson. He's easily picked up. You have a three-on-one here. The defensive tackle for Pittsburgh fell down. Beautiful call, 18 yards, gets him inside the five, inside of one minute left in the game. <clears throat> Again, it's a game I think Dallas pretty much played out, pl outplayed the Steelers for much of the night. It's a third down pass play, ends up being low for Tolbert. They've got Lamb going across the field in motion. The Steelers do a nice job on that side of switching it. So it looks like man with 31 following Lamb, and you've already got a man alignment here. I think it's from Porter. And then on the snap, they switch. Porter actually points at 31 and lets him know. On the throw, Prescott, I think his lower body is collisioned by the left guard, I believe it is. Tackle, actually, my apologies. You can't really see it here. And what it does is the angle of the throw ends up being tilted downward. And so that throw ends up being low to Tolbert. Opportunity to get him the ball in the middle of the field. There's Mika Fitzpatrick is possibly in the window as well. Didn't give you the end zone angle kind of inconsequential because the very next play goes back to Tolbert, four-year touchdown. This is a huge momentum swing for the Cowboys, getting this win on the road against the Steelers, who were 3-1. and one. They had been undefeated the week, week before. They lost to the Colts and Joe Flacco. So Lamb is bringing his route to the inside, and then the slot receiver is working an outside release, so basically switching. He occupies Porter. And then from the other side of the field, really nice design, if you ask me. Tolbert running parallel or just underneath of the end zone. Dak finds him. Easy completion. Really nice design, if you ask me. Using the gravity of Lamb to basically force the safety who's running with Tolbert. This safety takes him over. Corner released him inside. Force that safety to go over the top, which I think creates a little bit more space for Dak to get the football in there. Four-yard touchdown for Tolbert. I understand they've got 
They've had some drama slash issues between C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott. To, to get a win on the road against the Steelers in the final minute of the game is a big opportunity for the Cowboys to build some momentum. They host the Lions this week in a rematch of a, a late regular season, a regular season game from late in the 2023 season that ended in significant controversy. I'll be doing a reaction video of that game. If you're a Lions fan or a Cowboys fan and you watch this this long, just to let you know, pretty cool concept there on the last play. If you ask me, one play Wednesday is where I look at individual concepts or play sequences that I think were important from across the NFL or ones that I just find interesting. In this case, I actually, because of the delay with this Cowboys and Steelers game, I was actually able to watch the ending of it and see the game-winning touchdown pass. And when they showed the replay, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. They used CeeDee Lamb's gravity to kind of play as a pick screener such that Tolbert could run underneath from the other side of the field. Essentially mesh, if you ask me. If you enjoy the One Play Wednesday concept, I have an entire playlist of about 40 or 45 of those videos. I'll link it up here at the end of this video, number one. Number two, if you think other Cowboys fans, NFL fans in general, would enjoy this film study look at Dak Prescott's game-winning touchdown pass to Jalen Tolbert, then please consider grabbing a link to this video, sharing it out on social media to help this content get more reach.